Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to edit product category page in WooCommerce. So let's begin. Alright, to edit the product category page, first of all what we need to do, we need to go inside the pages and click on the all pages and here I have to show you my custom product category page. So let's click on the view here and now you will be able to see this is what I have built here. So this is actually customized product category page, okay. So if I have to show you the default one, we can go here inside any of these options except accessories for which I have built this custom page here. I'm going to simply click on the dresses and now you will be able to see default category page here. Okay. And now we're going to go inside our dashboard here. And here, first of all, I have to show you the theme that I'm using here. Okay. So theme that I'm using here is actually the storefront. So if you want to use this, you can install this storefront from here. And now we're going to go inside our pages. Now let's click on edit here on the accessories. Perfect. So this is our product category page. And now we're going to learn how can we edit this if you wanted to. Okay. So in here you can see this the first thing that we have is actually the title. And the second thing that we have is actually the widget that is the featured product. Okay. So if you want to use the WooCommerce widget, you're going to go inside the ad block here. And here you can simply write down WooCommerce and now you'll be able to see all the widgets or all the elements that are actually the part of WooCommerce. So you can use any of these elements into your product category page. Okay. So we have actually used the featured product here. So in the featured product you can see here we can enable the description. You can see we are having the description here and we can also change the text of it into the styles. But right now I don't want to have this. Similarly, we can have the price here if you wanted to, but I don't want to have the price here as well. All right. So after this, we have the option of the media settings in which we have the fixed background and we also have the repeated background. So whatever you prefer. So I'm going to simply disable both of these values here. And after this, we have the image feed. So you can go here with a none or you can go here with the cover. So in the cover, it would actually cover all the space that we have on our uh, widget. So this is actually the focal point here. So if you want to change the focal point to any specific point, you can simply do this from here. So you can see here, this is how we can do this. All right. But right now we're going to keep this as it was. Yes. Okay. So after this, we have this positioning left and the top, and we can also change the focal point from here and left and the top. And after that, we have the alt text. And after that, we have the overlay color. So I'm going to add the overlay color here. So I'm, I'm going to add the gradient here. So let's go here with this one. Okay. I have to in increase the opacity here. Okay. So let's just change the color here. Maybe this one or maybe this one. Yes. We're going to go here with this one, but on this point, I will actually make it look dark. And on this point, I would also keep it a little bit dark, not really too much. And on this point, I would actually make it go for the light color. Yeah. This is the one. All right. So I'm going to use this one. Okay, so this is how we can customize our featured product. Okay, so if you wanted to change the colors here, you're going to simply go inside the styles. And from here, you can see we have the option to change the text color and the background color. And we also have the border here. So in the border, I'm not going to use anything here or into the radius. I'm going to simply change the text color here if you wanted to. So if I change the text color here, you'll be able to see we are actually changing the text color of our product here. But right now I'm going to go here with the default color, which is white. And after that, we have our heading here, which is the featured products again. Okay. So inside our featured product, we also have the button. So I'm going to also customize the button here. All right. So how are we going to customize this? I'm going to first change the width of it. So maybe we can go here with uh, 25. And after that, what we have to do, we're going to go inside the style. Let's just change the background color here. So we're going to go here maybe with this one or maybe with this one. So or I'm going to go here with this one. I would probably use lighter color, color here. So maybe this one. Okay. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to also change the font size here. So that would be maybe large or I think we can go here with the media. And I'm going to also change the border radius value so that we have the rounded corners here. Now this is looking good. And in the tags, we can go here with the white color if you wanted to. Yeah, we can go here with white color. And here we can go here with the red color. I think the red color is looking good. So yeah, this is it. And after this, we have our heading. So for the heading, what we can do here. 
So in the heading, I'm going to simply add the color here. So this will be the background color. So I'm going to go here with this color, which is actually the kind of pinkish color, but I would actually go here with the light color. I'm going to go here with this one. Yes, this one. And we can also change the opacity of this. Yes, I would probably go here with this one. And onto the text, I can go here with the black. I can go here with any other color here. But I think the black would look perfect here. All right. And also on the link, I'm going to go here with the black color. Okay. Perfect. And also from here, we can change the size of it. Okay. And after that, we have the appearance. So in the appearance, if you want to make it look bold, you can make it look bold. If you want to make it look thin, you can also do this. So whatever you like to choose from here. Okay. And I think this is looking fine. And after this, we have our section of the product template. Okay. So in the product template, we actually have the two things only. First one is the text color and the background color. And after that, we only have the typography. Okay. So I'm not going to change anything into it, but let's see what we can do here. Okay, so we can change the styling of this text here. All right, so I'm going to go inside the style here. And from here, what I need to do, I'm going to change the background color. So we're going to go here with this one, or I'm going to simply copy the color from here. So let's copy the color from here. And let's just click on the product title, go inside the background here. So I need to click on the product title. Now let's go inside the styles. I just change the background color here. I'm going to paste the value here. Perfect. Now this is looking good. Similarly, I'm going to change the text color of it. So let's change the text color of it to the black and also the link color of it to the black as well. Now this is looking good and we can also change the size of it. So we can go here with the large size or the medium or even the small. So I'm going to go here with the medium. And similarly, you can style the product price here as well. Okay. And after this, we have the best selling products. Okay, so all of these options that you are seeing here are actually, you can actually get them from here. Okay, so what I can do here, you can simply write down, let's say we have the best selling product. So I can simply write down best selling product and you can see that we have our block here. Okay, so you can actually get all of these things from here. And in here, what do we have? We have the number of the columns, we have the number of the rows, and we also have the product image, product title, product price, and the rating and add to cart. Okay, so let's say that I don't want to have add to cart button here. So I can simply disable this from here. And now you won't be able to see add to cart button. But obviously we need to have this. And after this, we have the product title and the rating. So since we don't have any rating, we can simply disable this from here. And what we can do here, let's just try to change the number of columns here. You can see we can actually change the number of columns from here. And similarly, we can change the number of rows here. So I'm going to go here with the default value. Okay, and after this, we can also filter the products by categories here. So you can see this right now, I'm only having the accessories products here. That is actually what do we have here. Okay, and after that, we have the advanced settings and in the advanced settings, we have the additional CSS classes. Okay, so after this, what we have on sales, which actually have the similar kind of options, but we have the order by here. All right. And after that, we have filter by stock status. So if you want to filter the product by the stock status, you can simply use this from here. Okay. And after this, we have the new products here. So in the new products, you can see this. We are actually having similar kind of options. And after this, what do we have? We have our featured category. So in featured category, you can see we can show the description if you wanted to. And we can also change the media settings here to the fixed background and also to the repeated background. But I'm going to go here with the default value. Similarly, just like the featured product, we have the focal point picker. And after this, we have the similar kind of values here. Okay. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually change this to the gradient. So we're going to have the similar kind of options that we had. So this will be a kind of dark color. All right. And second would be a kind of darker color here, a bit dark color, not too much. Yes, this one. And this would be a light color. So we're going to go here with the light color. Now this is looking good. Okay. Similarly, we have our shop button here, so you can simply customize this from here. And after this, from here, if I wanted to replace the image, I can simply click on open media library. So from here, we can actually change the image of our featured category. But I'm going to keep the image here that we're using. Okay, but you can do this from here. And after that, we have these options here for the settings. So if you want to go here with the wide width or the full width, you can do this from here. And if you want to align the text into the center, 
or to the right side or to the left side you can do this from here and we also have these other options from here okay so now what i'm going to do here i'm going to actually copy the style of this from here so let's copy the style and let's just put it here on this one and also put this on this heading all right so let's click on paste style let's just put it on new products and after that what i'm going to do i'm going to copy the style of this button so let's click on copy style here and here what we need to do we're going to simply paste the style from here okay so let's click on the paste style and now this is how our feature category is looking and this is looking good okay so now we just have to do one thing here that i have to mention so first let me just save this and i'm going to simply go inside our dashboard wordpress dashboard so one plugin that you would need to use is actually the 301 plugin that i have already installed which is actually 301 redirect okay so what it actually does it will help us to redirect from the default theme page to the, our customized theme page from our menu okay so i'm going to go inside the setting here and i'm going to go inside 301 redirects so here what you would need to do you would need to paste the url of default uh, product category page so let's say if i'm making the product category page for the dresses so i'm going to simply copy the default url here all right and in a similar way when i create the customized product category page so let's say that we are having this url for the dresses as well i'm going to simply copy the url from here and i'll just simply put this here and then we just have to click on the save so now if i just go inside here into the dresses and if i just click on the accessories now you will be able to see we are actually navigating inside our customized product category page all right and you can see this whatever the edges that we have done on our product category page are actually visible and they are looking really good here so this is how we can edit our product category page in woocommerce so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel